Okay, so I call it the observer, or I call it the observer tool. And so the observer tool, which I, which I call it, is, now we've just been doing um, some field of feelings, but re recognize, become aware of your experiencing in this moment and ha how you experiencing your experience. And if people don't mind talking on camera, then, then feel free to talk as well. But if, are you, you need to, if, even if you're feeling good, is that feeling of good limited in any way? Does it have a boundary? Is it look, has it got a location? Has it got some kind of texture to the goodness? Does it, is it like a, a circular good or is it like a lim a, a, a limitless good that goes to a certain limit, you see. So experience, however you're experiencing even the, the states of goodness, if there's, try and sense what's the limit of that feeling of goodness. Is it, is it, has it got an energy vibration to it? Is it like, is it like feeling good around, but it's, it's, it's a limitless good that's expanded into this room? You know, so how is that experience? And if you have a limit to it, or if there is a texture to it, then you could say that it's limited, or it's got it's constricted in some way. Even though it's very big and nice, it has some kind of constriction or limitless. So if that's the case, then there is that which is witnessing it or observing it, which is uh, witnessing it, which is even bigger than the limits of the current good state. So let's say for example if one is feeling like expandedly good state that is expanded to this whole room then there is that which is witnessing it which is witnessing this whole room which is even even bigger. So there's a detached witnesser that is witnessing the limits of this fairly limit, limitless state which is even more limitless so the easy way to see that is like if if that was symbol symbolized as a pen, how how the limitless state you've got now, but it had a limit to it, then there's that which is observing it, which is limitless. There's a detached observer which is even more limitless. Is this making sense? Okay. So so go to that which is observing where you currently are which is observing the limits of where you are and be that detached observer and if that detached observer is has no limits has no distance, no time no location no size, no texture then if you, one is in that witnesser then that should automatically become limitless, i.e. there is no boundary, no texture, no form, no location, no tracking of time. All of that will disappear. Or if it's not, if some of that is still existing, then there is that which is observing that current limit. So be the detached observer that is observing that limit. Is there a still location existing? Is there still time existing? Is there still form or texture or vibration? Well, if that's, if that's existing, that's just like a pen and something is observing it, which is not that. So be the detached observer. Be in the position. Don't use your head. Don't use thinking. Drop all thoughts. Because the observer is before thinking. Even the thoughts are being observed. And if thoughts are being observed, or being observed with detachment, then they lose their existence because there's nothing hooking in or interested in them. So we are recording, but is there anyone still in limits that wants to speak? Or I can, or if they want the camera off, I can switch the camera off at this point. Just indicate or speak if you don't mind the camera being on. Do you want to speak?